Hello, welcome to my channel, Cloud Amir here again. Let's talk today about Axis Camera and Overlay. As you can see, I have the camera via web browser and I have the camera's name, date and time. I also bandwidth, the bit rate, uh, temperature and IP address, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave your thumbs up and your comments, okay? So let's take a look here on how you can do that. You come directly to the camera settings and here you have the option for overlay. It's possible to have different text overlays and also image overlays. So here, for example, I have the overlay for the first image. Let me just delete this so I can start from scratch and you can see how it works, okay? So delete this one and this one as well. So let's say I don't have any overlay on my image. I just click here on create overlay and I can select text or image. In this case, I will select text, hit create, and here I can just input my text. Let's say, for example, if I want to input date here and just hit create, I'm gonna see this text here with date, but it's just a text. It's not the real date, right? And I can move whatever I want here on the screen. Just drag and drop and move it. Now I can click again on the text and can edit, right? Let me just remove it here and click on this variable. That's the date. As you can see, it's a variable for a date. It's a percent F, okay? It represents the date. And I can click here to represent the time. That's percent X, okay? And you can do anything we want, we want using variables here. And now so I can change the background. Right now, the background is transparent. You can also check, uh, change the font color, outline. Let's say, for example, I wanna have this on a black background. See, I have it there. Hit okay, and I can move it, whatever I want. Well, it's pretty simple. And I hit done, and if I want another one, I just, Click create again in another text. And let's say I want a different variable. I can just click on these three dots for more modifiers. And here I have a lot of different modifiers for date and time, year, month, week, day again, hour, minute, second, and also system info, which is pretty interesting. Let's say uh, camera's IP address and I click here puts there for me. And if I just want to put some text, I can put in front of it, let's say IP address. Okay, plus the variable, I have this information. So IP address and the camera's IP address. Pretty simple, drag and drop, put it here. Let's do one more, overlay text again. And here three dots, let's Play now with temperature. You can show the temperature in Celsius on Fahrenheit. Let me just choose Celsius here. And when you click here and you hit create, you wanna see that you don't see anything on the screen. As you can see, there is a box here, a small box that represents your temperature, but for some reason it's not working, okay? So you need to come here again, select it and put a number in front of it of the variable. Let's say one, for example, and here we go. I have the temperature, okay? That's because uh, it's expecting you to include the sensor number. Depending on the camera, you have temperature sensor. In this case, it's sensor number one. And then you have your temperature uh, by the sensor number one. So you can type in front of it, let's say temperature. And here you go. You have information for temperature. Okay, it's just simple like that. You need to keep like uh, including here the text that you want, the verb that you want, just save it. And you can do uh, the same with images. If you have, instead of uh, overlay with the text, you can also include images, okay? Oh, there's also this uh, information about the scarce space. If you have too much information on the screen, you cannot use more images, for example, just text overlay here. Okay, so if you want to include an image as well, you need to at least delete some of the text that you have, then you can include image, right? There's a limitation of this software. So now when I delete one of them, I can create an image overlay. 
And here you can have custom image or the one that comes with the camera. In this case, I already have one here. That's for axis, right? And then I have here the axis logo. And I can place whatever I want, okay? Well, it's pretty simple text overlay on axis camera. You just need to follow these instructions and you are done, okay? That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. I see you in the next one.